Hi, I'm Sally here at the Long Beach Comic Con with Jackie yes. of Suicide Girls. So tell me a little bit about your table. Um, here we are. We are the Suicide Girls. We are a website, a modeling website based on the alternative lifestyle, you know, dyed hair, piercings, tattoos. And we originally began in 2001. Uh, our owner, Missy Suicide, began it. And basically, the name Suicide Girls is, you know, morbid as it sounds, actually comes from an old book about a girl who had these piercings, who had tattoos, had dyed hair, and she committed social suicide. So we're, we step outside the norm. That's why basically any girl who's just really either done up or their hair is colored a completely different way, you know, things that wouldn't be considered socially acceptable, we're just like, well, screw your norms. We like our own. And there are a lot of people who have this like this negative mindset of, oh, you know, that's hideous. Or why would you do that to yourselves? And it's just like, well, so what? Your standard of beauty is different than ours. And we're okay with that. And we're going to show you that, you know, you have your taste. We have ours. So how long have you been a part of the Suicide Girls? I have been a part of the Suicide Girls. I just recently became an official Suicide Girl, but I've known about the site since high school. And I originally got into it by seeing another girl who is unfortunately not here, a suicide girl by the name of Malou Suicide, and she's an absolute stunner. And I saw all the other girls, saw what the girls stood for, and you know, a lot of us have this almost the same backstory. We were always the one teased, bullied in high school, being nerdy and lanky and just not attractive. And it's just like, look at us now. So tell me about this, you have a nickname, or is that your alter ego, yeah. or what was that? My nickname is Kurosune Suicide. Every girl has their uh, name, and basically, I wanted my name to be very unique and I'm very into the Japanese culture so I chose the Japanese word kuro which is Japanese for black and sune which comes from the Japanese word kitsune because it's the Japanese word for fox so basically black fox only because it's not because of how I look but one of my teachers once upon a time noticed that whenever I smile like really grin my eyes close and slant up like a fox and he was a Japanese teacher he's like oh you look a little kitsune I'm just like thank you that's so clever. So is this your first Comic-Con? This is actually my first Comic-Con working here, but I've, we've been to uh, San Diego Comic-Con before. Like, we go to basically all the big cons around. You know, we have girls internationally, so we have, we have them at the international cons. We throw some of the best, biggest parties, and we're virtually everywhere. What do you think is very different from this particular Comic-Con than other ones like the one in San Diego and some larger ones? It's definitely a smaller con. And a lot more of our fans are able to come and see us since, you know, it's not as expensive as Comic-Con. And we have fans just rush up to us just so excited for this chance to see us because normally it costs what to get into Comic-Con, like the San Diego one. So, you know, we get to interact with a lot more of our fans here. And people are just like, I can't believe you're finally here. And I think it's like a, it's a more intimate con. So it's not as overwhelming because, you know, we have some girls who this is their very first con. And even then it's like, this is too much, you know. But then it's just like, okay, we're breaking in here. Then you go to San Diego Comic-Con and really see what it's about. But a lot of the girls here are veteran con workers, so we've gotten the chance to meet a lot of our fans, you know, um, meet people who really appreciate the work that we do and really network with other people. So it's been a good experience. So how would some girl want to get involved with the Suicide Girls and be a part of it? You would go to www.suicidegirl.com and then you'd fill out the application. After the application process, and if you're accepted, you become something that's called a hopeful. And that is basically a prospective Suicide Girl. Then you go and you find like a photographer, a very good one, and you shoot a set with them, and if, you know, the members get to vote on the set and everything like that, and if you like it, and your set's bought, you go front page. We call it turning pink, because, you know, suicide, that's our color, pink. And then usually after that, after the girls figure out their suicide girls, is a big breakdown of screaming and crying and just ultimate happiness. And I know that's exactly what I did, because one of my girlfriends was, you're pink, and I'm just like, <sighs> so I just started freaking out. So it's a great feeling, especially to be part of, like, this huge movement of just alternative beauty. It's probably the greatest feeling in the world. So, and all the girls are very close, and there's no cattiness, there's no, oh, I'm better than you, you know, there's no competition. It's basically, we all take care of each other, we all watch out for each other, so, it feels like a sisterhood. I have a lot of family in Suicide Girls. So. Well, thank you very much, Jackie. Thank you very much. <laughs>